Hello, everybody. Once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministries, where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. Today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad, be glad in it. We thank God for divine preservation, protection, sustenance. We thank God for helping us during the season of fasting and prayer. We give him all the praise for everything that he continually does for us. We just want to say a big thank you to our Heavenly Father, to our Lord Jesus Christ, to the Holy Spirit. We, we give him all the praise. Father, you are worthy to be praised. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. We started a journey of this 14 days fasting, believing and trusting God to restore us, to cause a restitution and to help us to recover everything that the devil has stolen from us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the 12th day of our fasting and prayer, God willing, it's coming to an end on Sunday. It's coming on an end on Sunday. The general fasting is from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. And on to, uh, for some of us, we are embarking on the extra or Esther fast from Friday all the way to Sunday. Minister Esther is doing very well with this fasting. So I pray that all of you are also pushing and doing your best with this fast. If you were able to fast today, let me see you type yes. Uh, and may God continue to help you whichever fast you are on and hear your prayers and answer you speedily. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is our strength. The Lord is our strength as we humble ourselves in his presence. The Bible says in Psalms 100, Psalms 100, 100, it says, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. So make a joyful shout. To the Lord, all ye lands. It is good to praise God. It is good to magnify God. It is good to exalt the name of God. It's good to praise Him and shout unto the Lord. Make a joyful and not just a shout, but a joyful shout to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Make sure, as a believer, as a Christian, you are serving the Lord and serve Him also with what gladness. Continue to read. Come before his presence with that with singing. Come before his presence. Do not miss the gathering of the saints meeting together. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. Always remember that it is God who made you. That alone should give you peace because if he made you and not you made yourself, mm -hmm. then he is in charge of your life and he is the one who is going to take care of you yes. and provide for you protect you from all evil you don't own your own life god owns you and everything that belongs to you so he will also provide and preserve and protect you and everything that pertains to you we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise be thankful to him and bless his name be thankful all the time to god and bless his holy name for the lord is good the lord is what good good the lord is what good the lord is what good don't let the devil deceive you otherwise because of what you are currently going through the lord he is good if you can type it i want the you to lord type it he is, is good. good the lord he the is lord good the lord is, is good. good and as you prophet the confess lord it and prophesy good. it and declare the it you will good. definitely see the goodness of god in your situation Amen. i prophesy to somebody that after this fasting you will testify that the lord is indeed good. good he has answered your prayers the lord he is good he has delivered you the lord is good he has healed you the lord is good he has made the way where there seems to be no way. The Lord is good. He has sustained you. The Lord is good. He has provided and protected you. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. He has helped you. 
the Lord is good. Continue. His mercies is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. His truth endures to all generations, for the Lord is good. Thank you, Jesus. Please join me to let us tell God he is good to us, and we thank him, we bless him, we exalt him, we adore him, we enthrone him, we worship him in the beauty of his holiness. We are who we are because of him. We ascribe all praise and honor and adoration to him. From the rising of the sun to the going down the same, his name is to be praised. His name is high above the nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods who is like unto thee? You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, and you do wonders. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefit. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will make my boast in the name of the Lord my God. God is good. He is our rock. He is our fortress. He is our deliverer. He is our shield. He is our strength. He is the horn of our salvation. He is our stronghold. He is our savior. He is our high tower, our refuge, our, our hiding place. He is our everything, our light and salvation, the strength of our lives. The Lord is good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for May. Thank you for June, July, August, September. Thank you even in advance for October, November, December. Thank you, Lord, for seeing us and sustaining us through this year. We give you all the praise for grace to fast, to wait upon you. Thank you for bringing us out of many countless dangers, innumerable problems we've been through. It is only by your grace and your mercies. That's why we are not consumed, because your compassion feel it's not there renewed every morning. We magnify your name, Jesus, Son of the living God. We are so grateful. We are so thankful. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, 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 you are worthy. We worship you, Lord. 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 Rabba, Baba, 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We adore you, Lord Jesus. We exalt you. We magnify you, Lord. Receive all the praise. Receive all the praise. Receive all the praise. Receive all the honor. Receive all the honor. Receive all adoration. For you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. We magnify your holy name. King of kings. Lord of lords. Ancient of days. Bright morning star. Soon coming in. I am that I am. All power, all honor, all glory, all adoration belong to you, Jesus. We magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Rabba, Baba, 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 Baba,
We bless you, Lord. 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 Rabba bashan dala bela 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 bas. Rabba rabba da 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 da. Rabba ba 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 Thank you, thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for strength. Thank you, Lord, for protection. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, your loving kindness. Stand up, mercies. Yours, Reverend Paul. Tell us, my family. Tell us, my family. Tell us, as we Lord. We magnify you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Bless the 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 Lord. For the Lord is good, and His goodness and mercy endure forever. Lord, you are good, and your goodness and your mercies endure forever. Lord, you are good, and your goodness and your mercies endure forever. Lord, you are good, and your goodness and your mercies endure forever. Jesus, you are good. Lord Jesus, you are good. Eternal Rock of Ages, Alpha and Omega, the all-powerful, all-knowing God, all-wise God. We worship you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. Lord, may your name be praised. May your name be magnified, O oh Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's go to Psalms 51. Psalms 51. Psalms 51. Psalms 51. Psalms 51. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 51. Mm -hmm. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Verse 3. For acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak, and blameless when you judge behold i was brought forth in iniquity and in sin my mother conceived me behold you desire truth in the inward parts and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom purge me with high soap and i shall be clean wash me and i shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. And do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Verse 12. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. And uphold me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways. And sinners shall be convicted. Convicted to you. Amen. This psalm... Um is very very important psalm that every time you are fasting you pray this prayer um, psalms and ask the lord to show you mercy or many times we are trying to get access to the heavens and there are either some hidden unknown sins to us 
that may be blocking us from our prayers being heard. So it's very important you incorporate these prayers when you are waiting on the Lord, that the Lord will show you mercy and forgive you. I'll go over verse 10, which says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and a renewed and a steadfast spirit within me. David is acknowledging that he had sinned, especially when he, the sin of adultery and murder, when he took Uriah's wife Bathsheba and slept with her, pregnated her, killed Uriah. But because of the mercies of God, he was forgiven. He humbled himself. So don't just be fasting and going before God as though God owes you anything. No, you go in humility, asking him that if there be any generational curses as a result of iniquities, he should forgive you. He should forgive you and the sins of even your parents and ancestors that may be hindering his blessings from locating you. Do not cast me away from your presence. First, create me a clean heart, O Lord, O God, a renewed and a, a steadfast spirit within me. God, give me a new heart, a heart that is willing and yearning to obey you, to obey your commandment, to do your will, and to abide in your will, your word. A renewed spirit, take away any spirit that leads me away from you, but rather put in me your Holy Spirit. I need your Holy Spirit to be able to obey you. I need your Holy Spirit to be able to read your word. I need your Holy Spirit to be able to live a holy life. I need your Holy Spirit to obey your instruction. I need your Holy Spirit to abide in your presence. I need your Holy Spirit to be a good Christian. A new, a renewed, a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. I may be... Have, I, mean, I might have sinned against you, offended you, but Lord, don't cut me out off. Don't cut me off because when God disconnects you from his presence because of your sins, that's when the devil has access, total access into your life to destroy you. And that's how you are outside of God's blessing. Don't take your presence away ever. So as a believer, always make sure nothing disconnects you from the presence of God. Sometimes we allow sin to disconnect us Sometimes we allow prosperity to disconnect us because things are going well for, with us. We begin to have excuses why we don't spend time with God. David is saying that, do not cast me away from your presence. Never. Never. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. When we keep on sinning and sinning, we start grieving the Holy Spirit. When you start grieving the Holy Spirit and you don't stop sinning and you keep on sinning, then you begin to quench the Holy Spirit. When you quench the Holy Spirit, then he just excuses himself from you. And then you realize that another spirit takes over you. That's why we have too many Christians who are demon, who have demons taking residence in their lives, controlling them. Or demonizing certain areas of our lives because we don't allow the Holy Spirit to take total control of our lives. We've opened ourselves up to other unclean spirit. So by the time you, you, you realize you are misbehaving, you are doing things which is not the sign of a believer, a Christian, another spirit has taken over. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me because when the presence and the spirit of God left Saul, another spirit entered him, a demonic spirit. When it came in, it was tormenting Saul. The only time he could get a relief was when David came with the presence of God to play a harp to cast out the spirit from him. Please take your Christianity, your Bible studies, your purity seriously, because when we sin and disobey God's word, other spirits are eager to enter. Yes. The spirit of pride can enter. Mm -hmm. The spirit of anger bitterness, unforgiveness, jealousy, even murder. Could you imagine immediately David ste stepped out of God's presence, adultery entered, murder entered, and he says that 
God was now against him. We are no, no better than David. We have to be watchful. It is not how you start, it's how we end. Make sure always you hold dear to the Holy Spirit. David realized because when he knew, he knew what he knew what happened to Saul when God distanced himself from Saul. How wretched, how frustrating, how humiliating, devastating, and hopeless Saul's life became. And David says, No. Lord, don't deal with me like so. Don't treat me like so. Punish me, if need be. Take away everything, if need be, but please, not your presence. Because a person without the presence of God is frustrating. And that's how you see many celebrities. They've received, they've sold their souls to the devil, they have fame, they have wealth, they have riches, they have everything but they are tormented. They can't sleep. They don't have peace. Don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. Don't take your Holy Spirit away from me. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, you can't make it to heaven. If you don't have the Holy, the Holy Spirit in you, you can't make it to heaven. You are not sealed then at that point. You will... In fact, what they are experiencing outside of the Holy Spirit, that's what it looks like to go to hell without the Holy Spirit. You are empty, devoid of, devoid of God's presence. A tormenting spirit, an evil presence begins to take over your life. Somebody else, you are listening to me. Maybe you have deviated. You have fallen. You have fallen short. In your relationship with Jesus, I pray that today you ask the Lord one more time, Lord. So David came, comes back, restore to me the joy of my salvation. Restore. We are praying and believing God for restoration. The highest level of restoration is when God restores His presence in your life. To me, it's very precious. To me, very, very take away money, take away not His presence, because the only thing that gives me peace. Is his presence. The only thing that gives me joy is his presence. The only thing that gives me confidence is his presence. The only spirit that gives the only thing that gives me the audacity to withstand demons and principalities is his presence. Without his presence, I can't even defeat a mosquito, <laughs> let alone a roach. I'm no I'm nothing before the witches and wizards. They'll kill me one time. <laughs> But when I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, I'm not afraid of nothing. So David says, do not take your Holy Spirit. And as your Holy Spirit is trying to de depart from me because I've sinned against you. Oh God, if there's anything you will restore in my life, restore to me the joy of your salvation. Because the Holy Spirit in you brings joy. And there's somebody you are listening to me, you've lost your joy. You've lost your peace. You are working so hard. You are making the money, but you are not happy. You are dating the guy, but you are not happy because you've lost the presence of God. Because you are in error. You deviated from the Lord's plan for your life. You see how the indwelling Holy Spirit begins to grieve whenever we sin. Whenever you sin, you, you see the Holy Spirit convict you. And especially you realize that when you are making a decision which is contrary or against God's plans, you realize that even after you've taken that plan, that steps, you are not happy. Even if they are giving you so much money or people are applauding you, the Holy Spirit in you is telling you you have missed it. And there's somebody you are listening to me, you know that you have missed it because the Holy Spirit in you is not happy. You know you have grieved the Holy Spirit. You know you, are, you have erred. You have, you have made an error. You have made an error. I remember this gospel singer called Yolanda Adams. She said there was a guy he, she met, she really wanted to marry. But she knew the Holy Spirit had told her, don't marry this guy. And she, she went ahead because the guy had everything that she was looking for. 
in the day of the wedding, she was still having the prompting. You are making an error. You are making an error. You are making an error. As she was walking down the aisle, she was. She felt that strong edge. You've missed it. She was restless within. She was unhappy within. Everybody was happy for her, but she was tormented inside. She listened to the crowd and her feelings and didn't listen to the Holy Spirit. She was grieving and married. When she married, come and see slappings and beatings, slappings and beatings, slappings and beatings, domestic violence and domestic abuse. She became a punching bag for this man. <laughs> Yolanda Adams. Go and read. Go and watch Yolanda Adams. Domestic abuse. Why? Because when the Holy Spirit spoke, we rebel. We went out. And sometimes we know that you can be making so much money, but you know you've missed it. You can be dating that guy. People, oh, hi, hi. That's a, that's a cute guy. That's, he has it all, but you know you've missed it. And then you realize you are not happy. You are trying. You are faking it. But you know that your Christianity has no joy. That's what David says, that take not away from me, your Holy Spirit. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. When you are right with God, there's a joy. Even if you don't have no money, there's a joy. Even if you don't have a place to lay your head, there's a joy. Because you are in line, in alignment with divine plan and program for your life. Ah, his presence. David was living in caves. Moving from one wilderness to one valleys and being pursued by the guy had joy. By this time, he's in the palace. Has fame and everything. But he, he had, he, because he missed it, he has no joy. So Lord, Rich, I want you to take me back when I was in the cave and I had no, nothing. You gave me joy and peace. Please don't take it from me. If you are that person, repent and tell the Lord, Lord, I'm sorry. Restore, restore. Help me to retrace my steps back into your divine purpose for my life. I don't want to be here. You are listening to me. You are listening to me. You are with something in a place that you are not supposed to be. You are doing something you know you have no business doing. And you know the Holy Spirit is not happy with you. You know you are not happy with yourself. You are faking it, but you know you are not happy. May God restore. And it starts with when you repent and say, Lord, I'm willing to pack my stuff and live this sinful lifestyle. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Uphold me by your general spirit. Then I will teach transgressors. I will teach transgressors your ways. Because he knew he had messed up. And he's now admonishing us that when we mess up and we repent, the Lord can put us on the right path and restore his joy back in our lives. And sinners shall be converted to you. Today, David is asking you to be converted back to God. Converted back to God. It is, don't be like the prodigal son and be eating pig's food, the abominable food, because you've missed it. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, mm -hmm. during this time of fasting and prayer, I don't want to be wasting my fasting because I am in error. I am in sin. I have deviated. I am in rebellion. I'm living in disobedience. Lord, I want to get it right. Lord, I want to get it right. If there's anything you are restoring during this season in my life, restore unto me the joy of your salvation. I want to make sure that if I die today, I am going to make it to heaven. I want to make sure that if you are to show up today, I will be with you in heaven. Don't let no sin keep me from heaven. Don't let no sin keep me from your presence. Don't let me gratify myself today and miss my eternal inheritance. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. Forgive me of my sins, my iniquities, and my transgression. Restore to me, oh God, the joy of your salvation. Begin to pray for mercy. 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 Pray for mercy. Pray for mercy. Repent and ask the Lord for mercy and forgiveness. Repent. Repent. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. 
have mercy, Lord. We come before you in mercy to ask for mercy and forgiveness. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Wash us by your blood. Bless me by your blood. Bless me by your blood. Expound my sins by your blood. Atone for my sins by your blood. Ransom me by your blood. Mercy. Have mercy. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Have mercy. Forgive me, Lord. Wash me by the blood. 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 Bless me by the blood. Bless me by the blood. Purify me by the blood. Sanctify me by the blood. Bless me. Purify me by the blood. Help me to be holy. Help me to be righteous. Help me to worship be truth and Forgive me, O Lord. Deliver me, O Lord. Save me, O Lord, from my sins. Thank you for this my transgression. Bless me, Lord. Take away every anger. Take away every bitterness, every resentment, every unforgiveness, every lie, every stealing, every pride, every arrogance, every selfishness, every self centeredness, any morality. Forgive us. Forgive us. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. 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 We pray for thy mercy. We pray for thy mercy. Your forgiveness. Your forgiveness. Show me thy mercy. Show me thy mercy. Create in me, O God. Create in us, O God, a clean heart. Restore us. Restore us. May the Lord restore your first love. May the Lord restore your first love. May the Lord restore your first love, your first passion that you had for Jesus. May the Lord restore your prayer life. May the Lord restore your love for him, your love for winning souls, your love for winning souls, your love for winning souls. May the Lord restore purity, sanctification in your life as a believer. May the Lord restore the grace to obey his commandments and his will. Immediately, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Forgive us. Create in me, O God, a clean heart. And near the right spirit within us, O Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Show me thy mercies. And you call me mercy. Show me thy mercies. Yes, my name is mercy. Show me thy mercies, O oh Lord, the mercies. We need your mercy, Lord, tonight, right now, 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 right now. We need your mercy. We need your mercy. Let the blood of Jesus. 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 I told for your mercy. I told for our our sins. Let the blood of Jesus show us mercy. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I believe there are specific needs that you are fasting and believing God for. I want to use this opportunity, this time, to give somebody opportunity to pray on that specific need in the next five minutes. 
I told you to be specific. I told you to be what? Specific and not general. If you are general, you receive a general blessing. If you are specific, you receive exactly what you are trusting and believing God for. During this fasting, what are you trusting God for? After the fast, what are you believing God for? What makes you embark on this extra fast? Or why are you doing this fasting with us? What are you trusting God for? I want us to read Jeremiah 33 verse 3. And we are going to pray. And I want you to cry out to God. And believe him for something specific. Jeremiah 33. Verse 3. Verse 3. He said, call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and awesome things, great and magnificent things, great and unsearchable things that you have no idea. Call unto me. Call unto me. Don't just fast without calling unto God. Can you also read Matthew chapter 7, verse 7? Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Mm -hmm. It reads, Ask, and it will be given to you. Mm -hmm. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Continue. Verse 8. For everyone who asks, receives. For everyone who does what? Asks. Does what? Receives. When people ask, what happens? They receive. Mm -hmm. And he who seeks, finds. When people are desperately seeking, what happens? They find. When how, What do you do before you can find? You must what? Seek. seek. If you seek, you will find. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. If you knock, the door shall be opened. Amen. Every closed doors, close opportunities, close favors, close blessings. If you knock during the season of fasting and prayer, God says it will be open. I dare somebody to believe that before the end of this fast, God will answer you. Amen. God will come through for you. Amen. God will come to your assistance. Amen. In the name of Jesus, call on to me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things. Stop saying pray for me. Open your mouth and begin to ask the Lord. You need a marital restoration. Ask God, Lord, restore my marriage. You need healing. Ask God, Lord, heal me. You need favors. Lord, favor me to get this employment. Favor me to get this promotion. Favor me to get this contract. Favor me to, to get my bills settled and my debts canceled. Lord, Come through for me with my citizens, my green card. Lord, open my womb. Lord, bless me. Lord, prosper me. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Begin to open your mouth and ask. You never let it fade away You pray so my life every day And I worship this My praise belongs to you I'm on the phone Nothing to stop me, cause you got your eyes on me. Nothing to 
He lives in me. He shines through me. He watches over me. He lives in me. He shines through me. He watches over me. I Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, can we open to Genesis? Genesis. Genesis. We are going to talk about the Lord during this fasting, restoring, restoring, restoring our glory. Amen. Amen. Our coat of many colors. Genesis. And Genesis chapter 37. Genesis 37. Genesis 37. Verse. What verse? Start from one. Verse seventeen. Genesis thirty-seven, verse seventeen. It says, "He also made the lampstand oh. of pure gold." I'm sorry. I'm I'm talking about Genesis thirty-seven. Genesis 37. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I opened the room. Yeah, Genesis 37. Genesis 37, verse... Start from 15. Genesis 37, verse 15. Now a certain man found him, and there he was, wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What are you seeking? Continue. So he said, I am seeking my brothers. Please tell me where they are feeding their flocks. Verse 17. So here we said, see Joseph looking and seeking for his brothers and seeking for their interest. Looking because his father has sent him to his brothers. Continue. Verse 17. And the man said, they have departed from here. For I heard them say, let us go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them in Dothan. Now when they saw him mm -hmm. afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they said to one another, look, this dreamer is coming. Come Therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. And we shall say, some wild beast has devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. Verse 21. But Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands and said, let us not kill him. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit, which is in the wilderness, and do not lay a hand on him, that he might deliver him out of their hands and bring him back to his father. Continue. Continue. Verse 23. So it came to pass, when Joseph had come to his brothers, that they stripped Joseph of his tunic, the tunic of many colors that was on him. Then they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty. There was there was no water in it. Amen. And after Amen. that, what did they do? Verse 25. And they sat down to eat a meal. That's all. Amen. 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 And that's what we'll be considering the coat of many colors. God restoring 
our coat of many colors. God restoring our coat of many colors. I want you to type, Lord, restore. Lord, my, restore. My coat of many colors. My coat of many colors. Lord, restore. Lord, restore. My coat of many colors. My coat of many colors. Lord, restore. Lord, restore. My coat of many colors. My coat of many colors. Lord Jesus, restore. Lord Jesus, restore. Lord Jesus, restore. Lord Jesus, restore. Here and now. Here and now. My coat of many colors. My coat of many colors. So the Bible says in Psalm study, um, Genesis 37, verse 13, 18 says, Genesis 37, 18. Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Afar off. Afar off. Some people have spotted you from afar off. And they have conspired not to do you good, but to what? To harm you. Joseph was coming to his brothers to find out their well-being. But the Bible says from afar off. There are people who are watching us from afar off. People who are watching you through social media from afar off. Watching your Facebook from afar off. Watch, watch, they are watching you from afar off. Don't think all the likes are real likes. Don't you don't think that all the contacts are real contact. Somebody's watching and monitoring you from afar off. And they are saying to themselves, I'm waiting for an opportune time to get rid of this young man, to get rid of this sister, to destroy this friend. This is the conspiracies of Joseph's own brothers. So if his own brothers can think this ill will against him, what do you think your enemies will do to you? What do you think your friends will do to you? What do you think your neighbor can do to you? What do you think your partner can do to you? What do you think your co-worker can do to you? What do you think your roommate can do to you? Even if your own brothers from afar off can think and plot and devise that here comes the dreamer. Why are they hating on him? Because he is what? A dreamer. Somebody hates you just because of your dreams. Somebody hates you because of your vision. And you know what God recently taught me? We are the one who advertise our dreams for them to know, to plan, to hurt us. And how do we do this? Just as Joseph did. Joseph will dream of great dreams and then he will go and tell it to his brothers. Joseph will have what? A dream of what God intends to do in his life and then he will go abroad and tell it to his brothers that I dreamt. And I saw all of you bowing to me. And therefore his brothers became envious and jealous of him. And they said, we will not make sure this dream comes to pass. Secondly, he's been given a coat of many colors. He's been endowed with a coat of many colors, giftings and talent and stuff. Do you know how we sell ourselves? Sometimes we are amongst our peers, co-workers family members, friends, and we begin to tell them, you know what? I wish to buy a house. I want to buy a house. You know what? <laughs> I like this mansion, this house that is in this neighborhood. I want to buy this house. And somebody had it. Oh, really? So you are not just thinking of an apartment. You want to buy a house. We will see. We will see how you buy that house. Oh, my car is so old. I think I want to buy a new one. Oh, really? We will see how you buy that car. A guy met me and he's so interested in me. From the way things are going, very soon I'm going to get married. When you said it, somebody heard it. And from the time they heard it, they begin to conspire how they can do away with you. You posted something. Some people has, have even gotten enemies. 
and are going through unnecessary battles because of snapping a picture by a nice house or by a nice car, which is not even their yes. car. And then a family member saw and said, hey, come and see. Can you imagine? Juliet was standing by a nice car. This is the latest Mercedes. I saw her snap a picture by a house. She has probably bought a new house. Tesla. A Tesla. Tesla. I saw her with Louis Vuitton. And what else? What kind of things you got? Coach. coach. And look at the kind of coach she was wearing, having when she snapped the picture. Please, I'm, let us convene a meeting tonight in the COVID. Right? It is well with her. Come and see the dressing she was putting up. She put on her social media. Meanwhile, too, it wasn't even your house. You see how some of us, we even bring a, about unnecessary attacks. The house you were standing was a friend's house. The car, you were going to the grocery. You saw the car. But because you always want to prove to people that you are also doing things, you are also doing well, you want to stand by the the car to snap a picture. Now the witches are punishing you for something you don't have. The coach bag you are using is the fake one. It's not the real one. You know the fake Gucci bag and Louis Vuitton. This is the fake one. The one you bought in the dollar store. <laughs> Yet, the witches are thinking it's the real Gucci. The real Louis Vuitton. So now they are releasing arrows and that of affliction on your life. But me, if they knew it was even a fake one, they would probably do that. But somebody is fighting you. Somebody is tormenting you. Somebody is harassing you through their spells and charms and witchcraft just because of their dream. Just because they heard you say you want to go to, back to school. Just because they heard you said you need a promotion. Just because they heard that you said you are pregnant. Just because they heard that you are getting, you are getting ready to marry. And it can be a friend, a family member, a sister, a brother, a mother, a, br a father, anybody, because the Bible says we are the cause of it. We are the cause of the battles we face. Sometimes we have been so careless to the point that we allow our children to inherit unnecessary battles. I quite remember a man calling all the way from UK. He says, Reverend K. My son is under attack. He can't sleep at night. He's beginning to go through midnight crisis and attacks. What happened? My son was very brilliant, very smart. And I started telling family, how come and see? My son is on honor roll. My son is doing well. My son is ahead of his class. My son is getting A's. My son is on scholarship. My son is this. My son is that. From the day he started telling family, suddenly the son began to do bad. He began to not do well in school. It wasn't enough for the witches to cause the child to go down, but they started attacking the child with health issues and spiritual attacks. The father was the one who initiated his own son's doom. Some of us, we have pushed our children into problems by selling their visions and dreams. Oh, my son, he's going into this school. He's about to do this. He's about to get married to this person. He's about to... You are selling your daughter. That's how they, that's how David, all David's problem was because the women were selling his dreams. Saul has killed a thousand. David has killed 10,000. Saul has killed a thousand. David has killed 10,000. And so it allowed the enemies of David to see the, the future of David. That if David at this point, a shepherd boy can kill 10,000, then he can become the king. And this is enough for me to know that if I don't kill this boy called David, he is a threat to my, kings, my, my kingdom. And that's how Saul began to hate on David because he got access to the vision, the dreams of David by the things the women were seeing. Be careful, be careful how you open your mouth and what you tell people. Learn to lay low. Learn to do what? Lay low. It is not everything that you acquire that you put on social media. It's not all, it's not all your children's achievement that you put on social media. One parent was so proud of his son. Proud. 
a proud parent because in a very in a private school which consists of governors and senators and presidential case ch children she was the only black african i'm talking about african parent whose son was able to get access into that kind of prestigious school she was so happy for the son started putting the son on social media i'm telling you a true story social media my son his achievement he's about to graduate from this distinguished school guess what happened the last year of the son's graduation the witches and the wizards manipulated this boy to go and do something against the the code of ethics for the school and they kicked the boy out she fought and fought and fought they will not budge kick the boy out so all the years the boy was schooling in that institution was to null and void empty why? Because mother in her excitement was what advertising her son to strange strangers, unfriendly friends, and enemies. Because of the coat of many colors and the dreams of Joseph, they said, let's conspire how we can kill. Some of us, we are dying because we are the cause. Because we will not lay low. You get a new job and the whole world knows about it. A guy comes into your life and the whole family knows about it. A little breakthrough and you want the whole world to celebrate. You too, you know the kind of battles you are in. Now, when they saw him from afar... <laughs> As you are coming and approaching people, they are taking, they are thinking about you. As you are approaching people and dealing with people, they, 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 are, they, they are plotting and planning how to finish you. Don't think that. He is thinking. Daddy says, as you come to see how you guys are doing. That's how he is thinking. That's what Joseph is thinking. Daddy says, as you come and see how you guys are doing. When I was even coming, Daddy gave me some food to come and bring to you. And then I will take some good report to Daddy. He is having good conscience, good motives towards his brothers. Whilst he is coming, oh, finally, I've, I've searched all over the wilderness. I've gotten missing, but I'm, I'm, I still kept at it because I'm so happy to have seen. He was happy to have found his brothers. Oh, brother, my brother. When he is coming with this generous heart, they, had, they were thinking, how can we kill this guy? Be very careful. That's why in this world, if you don't allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and direct you, you will die a foolish death. Because there are people you are willing to embrace and love in a good conscience, but they are snakes and vipers and hyenas. That's why sometimes God will tell you to be cautious and be careful in certain situations, and you will not understand. But, but God, she's nice. He's nice. He's a good friend. He's shut up. Listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. You can't know better than the Holy Spirit. You can't do no what? Do what? No know better, better than, than the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. There's a reason why the Holy Spirit says, "Don't eat that food when you go to this event." There's Holy. There's a reason why the Holy Spirit says that decline this invitation. There's a reason why the Holy Spirit told you, "Don't date." Or marry this person. There's a reason. There's a reason why the Holy Spirit keeps on impressing upon you. Don't trust this person. No matter how they are trying to be, something in your spirit is saying, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. We think we are wiser because all the science or all everything they are doing fiscally is making us think that they are they are good. These are my brothers. What harm can they do to me? These are my blood. These are my relatives. These are my brothers. But you don't know. Even the stranger, when Joseph met a stranger, verse 15, read verse 15. Verse 15, now a certain now man. Now a certain man, a stranger, found him. found him. He could have, the stranger could have taken advantage and killed this young man and devoured him. Took all his possessions, stripped him naked. Even the stranger, when he found Joseph, 
What did the stranger do for Joseph? And there, and there he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, what are you seeking? The stranger was the one who helped Joseph. The stranger helped Joseph. Yet his brothers are, kept, are willing to kill and murder him. Be careful. Be very careful. I'm talking to people who have spiritual understanding. Be very careful with your life. The fact that somebody's family doesn't mean they're on, on your side. The fact that somebody's what? Family doesn't necessarily mean they're on your side. One day you understand what I'm saying. Because this stranger was his divine helper. When he got lost in the wilderness and the stranger could have attacked and robbed him, the stranger was a direction, a guide to Joseph. But now, when he had found his own family members and relatives and friends and loved ones, people he could confine in. When they saw him from afar, they said, we will see. There comes the dreamer, the one who says she wants to marry when nobody in this family is married. The one who says she wants to, she's, in, she's now in the university. You, your father never went to high school. Your mother didn't graduate from college. You, you want to go to the university. You, we will see how you finish this university. And if you dare finish, we will see how you will ever work with your certificate. We will turn your certificate into a toilet paper, whereby it becomes irrelevant. Whenever you take it, you will never get an employment. So we have people who have finished their university, gotten their diplomas, their degrees, but have never used their certificate for any work related in their field of studies. Why? Because spiritually, some enemies have turned it into, what? into toilet tissues. It can, it's irrelevant. Everywhere you, you take it, you can never, but any other jobs you can find, but not your degree. Be very careful. May you have spiritual understanding. Amen. Now when they saw him from afar, even before he came near to him, somebody has plotted already how to do evil to you before they came close to you. When they saw him from afar, see Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, anyone, anyone who is eyeing me, who is, who is monitoring me, who is monitoring from, me afar. from afar? Lord, blind them. Lord, blind them. Lord Jesus, blind them. Lord Jesus, blind them. Lord Jesus, blind them. Anyone with an evil eye, anyone with an evil who is monitoring me, who is eyeing me for evil, Lord, blind them. Lord, blind them. Lord Jesus, blind them. In the name of Jesus Christ. They saw him from afar even before he came near and conspired against him to kill him. See, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father every, network every network of conspiracy, of conspiracy against my life, against my Lord, life. Scatter them. Lord, scatter Lord, scatter them. them. Lord, scatter them. Lord, scatter them. Lord, expose them. Lord, expose them. Expose their conspiracy. Expose their conspiracy. Disarm my enemies. Disarm the conspirators. Disarm the conspirators. Disarm the conspirators. Disgrace the conspirators. Disgrace the conspirators. Scatter the conspirators. Scatter the conspirators. Conspirators. And destroy them in Jesus' name. Destroy them in Jesus' name. Amen. They conspired to kill him. Then they said to one another, Look, the dreamer is coming. Look, the dreamer. Why this hate? Why this enviness? Why this jealousy? Why this? Why is somebody hating you so much? Because of your dream. Because of your dream. And I'm saying that they are hating on you, envious on you, angry at you. But even the coach, the wig you are having, two years wig you are still using. In fact, when it's smelling, you wash it and you dry it and you put it on. But still, because of the glory of God on you, when you put that wig on, when you put on your makeup with all your acne, when you put on your dollar store Gucci, still it is so glorious that they are still envious of you. Even though they are having the most expensive, they still cannot match you. So they are still bitter. They are still envious. They are so jealous because they see 
that there's a glory that is beyond what you put on. Even when you put on a rag, you are still looking good. Your rag outshines their expensive outfit. Why? Because God has God has decorated you with what glory. So they are still envious. So don't say that. What, what did I do? What what I, what wrong have I done? You don't have to do anything. They have seen something beyond clothing or manual. It is a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual thing. They've seen your future. And they've seen that your future is brighter. You may be a pauper today. You may be poor today. You may be wretched today. You may be homeless today. You may be unmarried today. You may be childless today. You may be unemployed today. You may have nothing today. But they don't see your nothingness. They have seen that in the future, it is glorious. God has made you great and awesome and a woman of valor and a man of dignity and honor. They've seen your future. So they don't see today. We are the ones who are blind. But witches and wizards and our enemies can see our future and see our prominence and greatness. That is why. That's why they are fighting you at your workplace. That's why they are fighting you everywhere you go. Because they have the eye to see into the future and see that your future is not what you are manifesting in your present situation. They see a better day is coming for you. And that's why they fight you. There comes the dreamer. Be very careful. Be very careful who you tell your dreams to. Be very careful who you begin to tell your aspirations and your desire, even your desire. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I plan to do this. Oh, I want to achieve this. Oh, I... Some people, when you talk so great, you make them feel uncomfortable because their, their language is mediocrity. Their language is nothingness. So when you come there and by faith you begin to speak great things, they begin to know that, ah, this guy doesn't speak like me, meaning that he's not going to end up like me. He has greatness. I must kill his vision. I must kill his dreams. And sometimes what they do is that they will begin to discourage you. Oh, don't think this way. Don't, you can't make it. It is not good for you. It's not, it's, it's not in your ability to possess this. No, no, no. Don't Just settle for this. Don't even think about this then the devil will use them to quench and to kill your dreams. And there are very many dream killers that are pretentious as friends. You brought it up. You know what? I want to go back to school. And they tell you, isn't it too late? Don't you think you have to work much more so that you settle? You know? But you say, if I go to school, I can get this credit or get this certification and it will increase my salary and help me to achieve this dream in this work they will tell you, don't, don't go to school. Don't go back to school. You just let's sit down. Let, let's, let's, let, let's be here. It's okay. Don't. They will discourage you. And if they realize you are determined, they will take you into the spirit and block you. By the time you realize you're, the dream of going back to school to, to improve upon your certification, you've thrown it down. You've given up on it. Oh, I think I can get married. God is telling me I'll make it. They will tell you, forget it. Let's hang around here. We, we are single forever, single forever and happy singles. Don't be thinking about marriage. Forget it. By the time you realize you've accepted it, be careful of dream killers. Here, they were trying to kill him physically. Some of us, they've killed us, our dreams, and are killing us spiritually. May the Lord deliver you from dream killers. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father during, this season during this season of restoration, of restoration recovery, Recovery and, rest restitution. and restitution. Deliver me, Deliver me from vision killers, from vision killers, dream killers, dream killers, dream abortus, dream abortus, dream blockers, dream blockers. Deliver me, Deliver me. from killers of dream. From killers Disconnect of me from them. Disconnect me from there them. There are some people too. As long as you are around them, you can't dream. As long as you are around them, you can't do what you, can you can't dream great. They will always make you look at the limitations. They will always make you look down and settle for who you are. You'll never look up. They are also satanic dream abortus. May God deliver you from such people also. You can't hang around certain people and climb up and move up. It, it can never. They will make sure you always look down and always make sure that they are always better than you. And you are always looking up to them. They are also agents in disguise. But they can be the best of friends. But they will never let you look towards a higher height. Be careful and discerning. May God have mercy on you.
Now, when they saw him from afar, even before he came near to them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they said to one another, Look, this is this dreamer is coming. They said to another, they said one to another. The conspiracy is a network. It's a network. And that's why when you are praying, you have to be strategic. The Father, everywhere my, everywhere there's a network of collaborators, conspirators, Lord, expose them. Because it's not just one person. Only one person has shown their face. I'm telling you, there are more than one face. There's more than one person. This is almost 11 brothers against Joseph. For, 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 for Paul, it was 40, more than 40 people who conspired against Paul. For David, it was more than 3,000 people who were going after him to destroy him. Be very careful. It's only one person. Don't think it's this person. No, no, no. It's a network. That's why everywhere you go, people are fighting you because there's a network. They are, they've planted one, some in your church, some at your workplace, planted some in your neighborhood, planted some at the groceries. Everywhere you go, there will be somebody who is who has been connected to monitor you to fight your dreams and vision. May the Lord say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, scatter every conspiracy, scatter every conspiracy against my life, against my life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, they said to one another, whoever is involved in your dreams and visions and your destiny, not making it, may the Lord expose them. Whoever is involved, whoever is involved, whoever has a, a hand in your demise, whoever has a hand in your fall, whoever has a hand in your delay, whoever has a hand in your glory and your stardom being covered, may the Lord expose them. May Amen. the Lord expose them. Amen. May the Lord expose them. Say, Heavenly Father, expose them. Father, Lord, expose them. Expose them. Lord, expose, Lord, expose them. the conspirators. Lord, expose the conspirators. Lord, disarm the conspirators. Lord, disgrace the conspirators. Lord, destroy the conspirators. Lord, destroy the conspirators. And dispose of them from my life. And dispose of them from my life. They said to one another, they are a network of witchcraft working against us. May the Lord disband them in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 19. Yeah, for Paul it was 40. For 40. Paul it was 40. Yeah. I read. Then they said to one another, look, this dreamer is coming. This dreamer. The question I pose to you, some of us, I can't, God himself cannot even deliver you because we haven't learned to keep shut. We, we haven't learned to keep quiet. Everything you talk, everything you, you, you say it, you like to brag too much. Every even on the prayer on this prayer platform, there are strangers and people will be downloading everything about their lives on the social media, just like that. Some people, unless you learn to deliver your own mouth from talking, you cannot be delivered. God cannot rescue you because every little thing, achievement, even your testimony is not complete, and the whole world already knows about it. The next minute you are down back to ground zero. Every person you meet, you want to tell them everything about your life. All people have to talk to you is five minutes. By the time the five minutes, you've downloaded your history from the day where you were born, from when your mother gave birth to your mother's name, your father's name, your, your ex, your children's father, you, where you work in. Five minutes, you would have downloaded your whole life story in five minutes. Everybody knows you like a book, a library book, which everybody reads. And therefore, every single day, you'll continually be in problems. Your deliverance is not your enemies. Your deliverance is with your mouth. The day you zip up, you zip your mouth, that's the day, the beginning of your deliverance. May the Lord help you to shut up. May the Lord help you to keep quiet. May the Lord help you to shut up. May the Lord help you to keep quiet so that you don't expose what God is doing in your life to even your enemies. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father help me to keep quiet. Help me to keep All quiet. All the problems of Joseph was because he told his dreams to the wrong people. Make sure you are careful. Be careful who you tell your dreams to. Otherwise, they will kill that dream and kill you also. This dreamer is coming. Verse 20. Genesis 37 verse 20. Come. Therefore, let us now kill him. Come. Therefore, and let us kill him. And cast him into some pit. Come let forth. 
and let us kill him. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus deliver, me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver my soul, deliver my, deliver soul, deliver my life deliver my from life, whoever from who want, to want to kill me because of my dreams, because of my, because dreams, of my visions, because of my, because visions, of my, destiny. Because of my Lord, destiny. Lord, deliver me Lord, deliver from my the hands, from the hands of, the killers, of the killers of my soul. Deliver my soul. Deliver my soul. Let my soul escape from destiny killers. From destiny killers. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody, they, oh, I've seen it too much. Some people are seriously sick. One guy who was into IT, the whole of West Africa, he was working for a company. He was one of the brilliant minds in West Africa and controlling, working for a white firm, controlling their IT. But he didn't have protection from God. As they were giving him promotion and he was climbing high. His competitors, his, his, his co-workers, they took him to the shrine and bewitched him. And they gave him some serious cancer. In fact, they had to fly me all the way from Maryland to Texas to go and pray for him. When I went and I entered into the room, I had to say, please, I, I want to come back out and pray for him. I couldn't pray for him inside because when, what I saw inside, there was nothing in me to pray. He had gone so, it was so bad. That's when I saw that cancer is bad and cancer is evil and cancer is deadly and cancer is the eater of flesh. May every cancer be accursed in Jesus' name. Amen. May every cancer be accursed in Jesus' Amen. name. May every cancer in your body be accursed in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord deliver us from cancer. Amen. I entered into the room. I couldn't pray. I had to step out and go into the neighborhood the, the, around the hospital and pray because there was no faith. I couldn't be there and have faith. I saw how cancer had eaten a human being until... It was like somebody who was in the higher, in the last stage of HIV, bones and skeletons. It was too late. His enemies had already eaten him up. I, my intervention was too late. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father whoever want to kill me, Whoever want to kill because, me. Of because of my destiny, Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver, Lord, deliver, me. Me. Lord, deliver, Lord, deliver me. Lord, deliver me. Whoever is after my life, because of my destiny, because of my vision, because of my star, because of, because my, of my glory, because of, because, my of my position, because of my position, because of my possession, because of, because because of my blessing, because Lord, of my deliver me Lord, from deliver envious me. enemies. Deliver me. Deliver wherever they have taken my picture. Whatever they've taken my wherever picture. Wherever they have taken my picture. Wherever they've taken my picture. Wherever they have taken my name. Wherever they've taken my wherever name. they have taken my possession. Wherever they've taken my as possession. a point of contact. As a point of and contact. Place and place it on their shrine. And place it on their shrine. And place it on their altar. And place it on their altar. To do incantation. To do incantation. And sorcery. And sorcery. Enchantment. Enchantment. Against me. Against me. Lord. Lord. Anything. Anything. From me. From me. Any strand of hair. Any strand of hair. They are using. They are using. As a point of contact, a point of to, contact bewitch me, to bewitch me, let it catch fire and disappear. Let it catch fire and disappear. Let it catch fire and disappear in the name of Jesus. The name of when Jesus. they mention my name, when they mention my name in their coven, in their, coven, in their, shrine, in their shrine, in their evil altar, in their evil altar to, do me evil, to do me evil, let thunder strike, let, thunder let lightning strike them. Let let thunder strike them. Let thunder strike them. Let lightning strike them. Let fire consume them. In the name of Jesus. And deliver my soul from their chains, from their shackles, from their bondage, from the spirit of death. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody, all your battles you are going through because somebody is envious. Somebody saw your marriage, saw how your husband was taking care of you. They bewitched that marriage. And today, look at what your husband is doing to you. Somebody saw your job. You told somebody about your job, how well-paying, how satisfactory, how everything is going well at your workplace. 
because of envyness and jealousy, they bewitch it. Today, look at the problems you are finding at your workplace. The very place you were once loved, now they have turned on you. Now they are giving you problems. They want to smoke you out of that place. Why? Because an enemy got to know that God had blessed you. You told your blessing to a wrong person. You told your blessing to an enemy. You told your blessing to a snake who disguised as a friend or a family member. And today, they are fighting you. Even some of the sickness we are going through because of enviness and enemy is trying to kill us. But may the Lord heal you Amen. and deliver you. Amen. May the Lord heal you Amen. and deliver you. Amen. Right now, if you have your water, bring it. If you have your water, bring it. If you have your water. Father, we turn this water into the liquid fire of the Holy Ghost. We turn this water into the liquid fire of the Holy Ghost. Any projection and any arrows that has been shot into our bodies to kill us, to give us sickness, to paralyze us, to destroy us. Father, as we drink this water, which has been consecrated and sanctified by the power and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, anybody who is drinking this water, Father, heal them, heal them, heal them from every sickness, every disease. Let every cancer of cells be accursed, every diabetes diabetes, high blood pressure, any sickness in their body be destroyed. Anybody who has released a spell, a charm, a hexes, a curse into your life, into your body, as you drink this body, in this water, may the border of life, Jesus says that I am the fountain of life, I'm the rivers of living waters. Father, as we drink, let us drink the blood of Jesus, let us drink the life of Christ, let this water heal us and deliver us from every satanic demonic projections in our body and every arrows of witchcraft, let us be expelled out of our bodies. Let the sick be healed as they drink this water in Jesus' name. Amen. Drink it. Drink it right now. Drink it and receive deliverance. If you have children, give some to your children in Jesus' name. People are wicked. Fear human beings and don't be afraid of a ghost. Fear human beings and don't be afraid of a ghost. A ghost will do you no harm. But be, be mindful of somebody who is laughing, smiling. They can be deadly. Tr put your trust in Christ. Come, therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit that we may say some wild beast have devoured him. Let's cast him into a pit. And that's what they have done. They've cast our marriages into a pit. So there's no peace. They've cast our finances into a pit. We are going to finance. You were doing very well financially. You were doing fin well financially. Until people got to know that of late you are making some money. Or because the job is paying you well. And they got access to your money. And they cast the money into a pit. From that day, you have started having debt problems financially. You are working, but you can't see the money. Because somebody got to know that of late they are paying you well. Or you are doing double, and you are having some stream of income. And because you too, you don't protect your money by offering tight and giving to the poor, your money, you don't have any spirit of God protecting you. So when they did it today, you are crashed. Even finding it difficult to pay your bills. But this was not so in the beginning. Somebody got to know that it is well with you financially. And they what cast your finances into a pit. But today, anything they have cast into the pit, they have cast your health into the pit. Sickness, diseases. Cast your dreams, your visions, your business into a pit. Cast your visions and your dreams, your business into a pit. Today, there's no sales. Customers are not purchasing your product. You are not recognized. Opportunities are not coming your way because they have cast you into a pit. You are going to pray. Father, any blessings, any, 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 any blessings, any opportunities, anything that belongs to me, which my enemies have cast into a pit. And because of that, I'm struggling today. Lord Almighty, restore it in Jesus' name. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father in, the Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every blessing, every, blessing, every, blessing, every opportunities, every opportunity, any favors. Every faith that my enemies, that my enemies out, of out of enviness have cast into the pit. Has cast into the pit. Father, today, Father, today let, the let the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost revive, revive whatever is dead in my life. Is dead in, the in, my life. in the name of Jesus. Restore my destiny. Restore my destiny. Restore my destiny. They have cast my destiny. 
They have cast my destiny. They have cast my glory. They have cast my, they have glory. Cast my star. They have cast my, they have cast my blessings. They have cast my, they have cast my, prosperity, my prosperity into a pit. Into a pit. But Lord, Lord, restore it by fire. 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 Lord, restore it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, let us cast him into the pit that we may see some beasts have devoured him. So we shall see what will become of his dream. Because once they put your star, your glory, your marriage, your finances, your son, your daughter, anything God gives you into that pit, that is it. They have destroyed it. But today the Spirit of the Lord is saying that we should ask the Lord to restore anything they have cast into the pit. The pit should spit it out. The spit should spit it out. The pit should spit it out in the name of Jesus. They've cast our finances. They've cast our marriage. They've cast our education. They have cast our health. They have cast our sons and des- our sons and daughters' destinies into, our, into the pit. They've cast our glory, our honor, into the pit. They've cast our riches, our power, our glory into the pit. May the Lord cause any pit that witches have dug and placed our glory in tonight, this morning, this afternoon, as you pray, it will vomit it out. It will vomit it out. You shall be restored. You shall be restored. You shall be restored. Whoever took your cloth, whoever took a strand of your hair, whoever took your picture, whoever took your name, whoever took anything that belongs to you or your children into a shrine, it will vomit it out. Amen. It will vomit it out Amen. for you to receive restoration. Amen. Your finances will be restored again. Amen. Your marriage will be restored again. Amen. Your health will be restored again. Amen. Your destiny will be restored again. Amen. Your ble- your business will be restored again. Amen. Your education will be restored again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, they've cast us into the pit. But today, the pit, but thanks be to God, when they put him into the pit, the Bible says the pit was hot, dry. It was empty. It was dry. We're going to pray this prayer. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus restore, 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 restore by, fire, by fire, by thunder, by thunder any, glory, any glory, any star, any, star, any, destiny, any destiny that has been hidden, that has been, hidden, that has been, buried, that has been buried in the pit, in the pit any, finances, any finances, my finances, my, finances, my, marriage, my marriage, my my destiny, my, destiny, my, glory, my glory, my health, my, health, my son. My, son, my, daughter, my daughter, anything, anything that belongs to me, belongs which has been buried which has been by buried my enemies, by my let it be restored by the Holy Ghost fire. Let it be restored by the Holy Ghost fire. Begin to lift up your voice right now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in this season of restoration, whatever has been buried in the pit, let it be restored by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, they have buried my destiny. Let it be restored by fire. That has buried my glory. Let it be restored by fire. That has buried my riches. Let it be restored by pride. That has buried my treasures. Let it be restored by fire. That has buried my son, my daughters, my marriage, my health. Let it be restored by fire. In the name of Jesus, whatever my enemies saw in my life, dreams and visions, aspirations, resolutions that my enemies have buried. Let it be restored by the Holy Ghost fire. By the Holy Ghost fire. Let it be restored. As the Lord, as the Lord, as the Lord, restore, 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 restore. Whatever my enemies have buried, they buried Joseph's. They buried his coat of many colors. They buried, they wanted to bury him. 
but the Lord restored him. Today, may God restore you. May God restore your marriage. May God restore your joy. May God restore your peace. May God restore your education. May the Lord restore your health. May the Lord restore your finances. May the Lord restore your home. May the Lord restore your son, your daughter, your marriage, your husband, your wife. May the Lord restore your dreams and visions. May the restore. May the Lord restore your glory, your honor, your dignity, your honor. Anything that the devil has buried, anything the devil has dug and buried, so that you don't walk in your dreams and vision, may the Lord restore you by fire. Restoration by fire. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, if it hadn't been for God who intervened by his mercies, Joseph would have been killed. Joseph would have been destroyed. Psalms 23. Psalms 23. They are going to pray that the Lord will restore us wherever they have kept your soul. The Lord will restore us. Psalms 23. Somebody, your deliverance is today. As you are praying, the Lord restores your soul. Psalms 23, verse 3. 
let's read from 1, Psalms 23, verse 1 to 3. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He restores my heart, my, my soul. soul. They were burying Joseph alive in a pit. As there are people who are burying us spiritually. They bury you. And then suddenly you become sick and then you are dying. They buried your soul. Then suddenly nothing begins to work for you. Once they buried your soul, nothing works for you. Everything you try, you will fail. You will keep on being sick, frequenting the hospital. You can't get well because they've buried your soul. They've buried your soul. They're going to pray, Father, restore my soul by fire. Whoever is burying my soul, it is easy. And today you make it even more easier. They just go on social media, Facebook or um, WhatsApp, see your profile picture, cut and paste and put it on their evil altar or bury, bury it under the altar or dig the ground and bury it in and do enchantment against it easy or take a piece of paper write your name on it mention your name several times do incantation on it buried from that day if it is finances you'll be running to law you'll never be able to account for your money anymore if it's marriage your husband will begin to act up then the marriage will begin to fail if it's a job you begin to have problems your supervisors your superiors will be picking on you having problems with everything you do if it's a relationship that was going to end up in marriage sadly the person will walk out of your life everything why because our souls are buried they were about to do the same to joseph only god's divine intervention saved joseph today somebody you are listening to me witches and wizards envious jealous friends or family members or enemies are trying to bury you or have buried you and because of that you are going through sickness because of that you are going through attacks because of that you are going through bad dreams because of that you are not seeing any progress you are not succeeding anything you are being delayed everything is backwards but today Father, in the name of Jesus, you who delivered Joseph, Lord, deliver me, deliver my soul by fire, deliver my soul by fire. Please pray this prayer seriously. Please pray this prayer because God must deliver your soul. Otherwise, nothing works out. Our soul is everything. If your soul is not right, you can't achieve nothing on this earth. If your soul is delivered and blessed, you can see success and victory. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, you who delivered Joseph from the hands of his brothers, Lord, deliver my soul by fire, deliver my soul from my enemies, deliver my soul by fire, deliver my soul from my enemies, deliver my soul by fire, deliver my soul from my enemies, deliver my soul. That sickness is not ordinary sickness. This attacks you are going through is not ordinary attacks. The reason why you keep on having consistent, continuous bad dreams is because your soul is being buried and they are doing witchcraft and attacking your soul. Father, deliver my soul by fire deliver my soul by fire restore my soul by fire deliver my soul by fire deliver my soul by fire restore my soul by fire deliver my soul begin to pray in the name of jesus that the lord will deliver your soul in the name of jesus I May the Lord deliver your soul by fire. May the Lord save your soul by fire. May the Lord restore your soul by fire. May the Lord deliver your soul by fire. Riba baba 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 riba baba baba Restore my soul, 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 restore my
May the Lord restore your soul from demonic attacks. May the Lord restore your soul from premature death. May the Lord restore your soul from sickness and diseases. May the Lord restore your soul from bad dreams and nightmare. May the Lord restore your soul from demons and witchcraft attacks. May the Lord restore your soul by fire. May the Lord restore your soul by thunder. May the Lord restore your soul by fire. May the Lord restore your soul. May the Lord restore your soul. May the Lord deliver your soul from demonic attacks, witchcraft attacks, from sicknesses, from every of bondage, every captivity, from evil altars, from evil shrines, from witchcraft attacks. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord Jesus restore your soul. Be restored. Be restored. Restore my soul. in the name of Jesus somebody may the Lord set your soul free Set your soul at liberty. Set your soul free. Deliver your soul. Emancipate your soul. Emancipate your soul. Emancipate your soul from witches and wizards, from evil people, envious and jealous people who have held your soul in captivity. I command your soul to escape. 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 I command your soul to break out of every spiritual bondage and captivity. Be loose in the name of Jesus. Be delivered from every attack in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our final prayer. Why were they after the life of Joseph? Only because of his dream. Only because of what his dream. Some of us, they have killed our dreams. They have killed your dreams. They have killed your dreams. They have killed your dreams. You dreamt of being pregnant. They've killed it. You dreamt of getting married. They've, they've killed it. You have dreamt of starting your own business. You've killed it. You have dreamt of fulfilling dreams and vision. You had great dreams of starting something, but they've killed your dreams. They've killed your dreams. They've killed your dreams and visions. And now you realize you don't dream anymore. I'm not talking about just sleeping and dreaming, but your ambitions, your visions and aspirations, things you wish you could do. Now, for some reason, they've killed that dream and block all avenue of support. You used to get support. You used to get help. You used to be very optimistic of fulfilling your dreams, but of late, it has been doom and gloom. You have been disappointed left and right. No help is coming from anywhere. You can't dream anymore. You can't see the way of you fulfilling your, your dreams anymore because destiny killers have killed your dreams. Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, God says he's going to revive your dreams and he's going to make provision for the dreams to come to pass. He's going to revive your dreams and he's going to make provision for the dreams to come to pass. Before the end of this month, before the end of this year, that dream will manifest. That dream will come to pass. It is never over. It's never too late. It's never too late. Your dreams is never too late. Your visions are never too late. Your aspirations is never too late. Your desires are never too late. God will make it come to pass. God will make it come to pass. God will make it come to pass. The Bible says not by might not by power but by the spirit says the lord not by might nor by power says the lord but by the spirit of the living god the holy spirit will overshadow you the mighty power of god will come upon you and it will revive your dreams again you are going to pray father revive my dreams you dreamt of getting married they killed that dream because every man who comes around every woman that comes around they scatter you dreamt of succeeding in marriage they killed their dreams they are telling you you are going to divorce you dreamt of being pregnant they killed their dreams they said you always have miscarriage and still 
bet. You dreamt of finishing your education for something happened. You have no money to go back to school or you are having challenges in some courses and every semester something happens. They are trying to kill that dreams of you finishing your schooling. But God says that dream is going to come back to, it's going to come to pass because he's going to revive your dreams. He's going to revive your dreams. You are going to pray, say, Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, revive my dream, restore my dream, revive my dream, restore your dream, revive my dream, restore my dream by fire, in the name of Jesus, revive my dream, restore you my dreams by fire, in the name of Jesus, revive my dream, restore my dream by the Holy Ghost power, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh Jesus, this the Holy Spirit says we should pray this prayer. Genesis 37, verse 18. Genesis 37, 37, verse 18. This is going to be our last one. But we got to deal with this. 37, verse 18. Genesis 37, verse 18. Genesis 37, verse 18. It says, Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Verse 19. 
verse 19. Then they said to one another, look, this dreamer is coming. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. Now, when they saw him from afar off, even before he came near, they conspired against him to kill him. They said to one another, they said, they said to one another, look, this dreamer is coming. Come, therefore, let us kill him and cast him into the pit. And we shall see some wild beast has devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dream. The question is, may the Lord, during this fasting and prayer, expose every conspirators and every conspiracies against us. Lord, expose the conspirators. For Joseph, he never for once thought that his brothers could think this against him. He never conceived it. It was inconceivable. He never thought about it. He thought he was running and coming to his friends for protection, for love and affection. He didn't know his own brothers wanted to kill him. Lord, expose every conspirators in my life, disarm them, disgrace them, destroy them, and dispose of them. Expose them. Expose whoever is a conspirator. Whoever is conspiring against me, whoever is conspiring against my marriage, whoever is conspiring against my wife, whoever is conspiring against my husband, whoever is conspiring against my children, whoever is conspiring against my job, whoever is conspiring against me, Lord, expose all the conspirators who are around me, internal enemies, external enemies, those who are laughing with me, pretending to be friends, family, loved ones, co-workers roommates, neighbors, but they are working against me. Lord, expose them. Lord, disarm them. Lord, disgrace them. Lord, destroy their plans against me. And Lord, don't mind dispel them from my life. Lord, expose every conspirator. Expose them. Expose them and disarm them. Expose them and disarm them. Expose them and disarm them. Whoever is in my life who is conspiring to kill me, who is conspiring to cause me to fail, who is conspiring to harass me, to embarrass me, to cause me to be defeated, to cause me to be delayed, to cause me never to succeed, to cause me never to marry, to cause me never to pass my exams, to cause me never to get my citizenship, my green card, to cause me never to get promotion, to cause me never to be able to become pregnant, to cause me never to get a job. Father, whoever is conspiring against me, Lord, expose them. Lord, has disarm them. Lord, expose them. Lord, disarm them. Lord, expose them. Lord, disarm them. Lord, disgrace them. Lord, dispose of them. Lord, destroy their plans against me. Begin to pray that the Lord will expose every evil conspirators in your life in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord, Jesus. The Lord is exposing your enemies. The Lord is disarming them. The Lord is disgracing them. The Lord is disgracing them. The Lord is disgracing them. The Lord is destroying their conspiracies. Every conspirator, every conspiracy is being destroyed. Every conspirator, every conspiracy is being destroyed by the Holy Ghost fire. The Lord is dispersing them. The Lord is disposing of them, disposing of them, disposing of them from your life in the name of Jesus. I want you to thank God for a massive deliverance. Say thank you, Jesus, for this mighty deliverance. Thank you for this mighty deliverance and mighty restoration. Thank you for this mighty deliverance and mighty de restoration. I know you have heard my prayers. I know it is well with me. Mighty deliverance and mighty restoration. Mighty deliverance and mighty restoration. Mighty, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. I I give my heart, I give my all to you. You might not be the beat of me. You pray so my life every day. My worship and my praise be lost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody, God has heard your prayer. Amen. He has heard your prayer. Thank you, Lord. He has heard your prayer. Amen. And has delivered you from the strong man. Amen. He's restoring you. Amen. You will experience restoration. Amen restitution and recovery amen. you will see the glory of god amen. after this fast in the name of jesus christ amen. Amen. amen god willing the fasting continues tomorrow the fasting continues tomorrow those of you who are doing the extra fast continue with the extra fast um, those of you who are doing the 6 a.m to 6 p.m continue with the 6 a.m to 6 p.m those who are led to do the pressure fast continue to do it whatever god is leading you just do it and join us tomorrow god willing at 11 p.m eastern time 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tomorrow, our scripture reading is Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4 is our scripture reading for tomorrow, God willing, in the name of Jesus Christ. And remember, we are we are reading through the book of Esther. Read through the book of Esther. Tomorrow, we'll be praying from the book of Esther. So make sure you are reading. But by Sunday, we have to finish the book of Esther. And we'll be praying the treasures and the blessings in that book. Massive restoration, massive deliverance will be taking place in the mighty name of Jesus. Get the book, Consuming Fire for Fire, Consuming Fire for Fire. It will help you to pray that the Lord should expose your enemies, disarm your enemies, to disgrace your enemies, to destroy the works of the, your enemies, and also to dispose of them from your life and chase them out of your life. Get a book, Consuming Fire for Fire. You can get it on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com, www.freshfireprayer.com. Get it through the ebook, 
order the ebook it will be sent to your email start reading it go to page page 55 chapter 8 page 55 chapter 8 join us tomorrow same time for prayers mm -hmm. and your life will never be the same make sure you are spending time praying during this fasting if you are hungry just drink water and i bless the water for you i bless the water in the name of our lord jesus christ as you drink the water may the lord bring restoration and bring healing especially for those who are sick as you drink this water i bless it i ask it to turn into the liquid fire of the holy ghost and may the lord use it to purge your system from all sicknesses and diseases and revive you and heal you in jesus mighty name even if you give it to your son or daughter who is sick or your loved ones as they drink it may the lord through the power of the holy spirit bring healing into their lives in jesus mighty name so may god bless you and may you continually pray and believe god for your testimony for any giving any donation any offering go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com and you can send your donation and may the lord bless you as you do that freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com please also um subscribe to minister esther word youtube channel subscribe to it and you'll be blessed um tomorrow minister esther will be coming in with the book of esther to minister to you and then sunday our sunday service is going to be it's going to be from her um youtube channel so you have to be able to um subscribe to it to be able to join live on sunday morning as she leads you into the prayer in the book of esther so if you haven't subscribed before you exit subscribe to minister esther word minister esther word in on youtube channel and you'll be blessed may god bless you and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow also as we pray and spend some time in his presence god bless you all bye Because I know he lives in me.